Hi, everybody. It's Michael Leveris with Elliot Bogart, and we have a podcast, Alpha Insider, where we invite different experts in different fields to share their knowledge to educate the public. And as you know, our expert on real estate in Manhattan is Elliot Bogart. Elliot, welcome back. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, dear listeners and viewers. Mm -hmm. Happy Thank to you. be with you. Appreciate it. Uh, Elliot, it's very important to recognize that in Manhattan, only 33% or 32% of people own real estate. The rest are renters. So rental market is a huge slice of, uh, of your business. It's a huge slice of uh, living in Manhattan. So it's important to dedicate one session to rentals. Okay. So let's talk about that. Uh, we know that during the pandemic, COVID, there's been a lot of amazing, great deals on rentals. I believe those deals are gone. They're a thing of the past. Right, Elliot? Uh, yes, uh, Michael, and no. Uh, okay. It's a very good question, and a lot of things changed in the beginning of this year, mm -hmm. in April, uh, May of, of this year. The market came up a lot in rentals, and we started seeing the prices that are charged for rentals before pandemic. So it came back a lot, uh, and people are getting paid. Uh, they started uh, paying the uh, same rent that they paid before pandemic. Exactly. And because people, like we, like we discussed in our prior sessions, people are coming back. People are experiencing remorse for, live, for leaving uh, New York City. People are coming back who left, and then there's an influx of new blood, people who want to experience Manhattan, and now are moving back in, especially from areas from around Manhattan, from Astoria, downtown Brooklyn, Co-op City, so you can see the rents going up, right? That's correct, but I should tell you that a lot of areas that still have deals, okay, uh, rental perfect. deals. And that's, what, have... that's what I want to hear, okay. Yes, and we happen to find people great deals uh, in areas such as Battery Park City, mm -hmm. Gramercy Park, Midtown East. There is some deals uh, to be found, and people are getting great rents and great deals. Yeah, Battery Park, I love. It's like being in Manhattan, but you are you have that suburb feel. Okay, you're in a separate total little town away from Manhattan, but yet you are in Manhattan. So it's really, really amazing, especially if you have uh, small kids or teenagers, they can just roam around, uh, it's pretty safe. So at some point we should do a whole session just on Battery Park. It's an amazing uh, place to live, I believe. Um, what other, other, what other uh, trends do you see with rentals and where do you expect the market to go in uh, next year so during the pandemic we saw one or two months some some buildings gave three months uh, mm -hmm. rent free uh, to have one or two year leases and so uh, people saved a lot of money during the pandemic uh, now we have to find those deals and uh, it's getting harder and harder every day to find uh, deals mm -hmm. but uh, the deals are there, and so September is a busy month uh, for us to look at their apartments and people are coming back, as I said. Mm -hmm. So we always find the right deal, uh, okay. and people are looking and they're finding those apartments. Yeah, but Elliot, uh, let's remember, though, that it's a, it's a journey, it's a process to get approved for rental in Manhattan. Uh, the requirements are, I would say, a lot of times more strict than in other boroughs or other cities. Can you tell us what are some of the income and possibly asset requirements usually? I mean, I know every building is different, but overall, um, how to get qualified as a renter in Manhattan? So we have a lot of questions from uh, landlords and a lot of uh... Uh, questions from tenants. The tenant has to make 40 times income to qualify for the apartment. So if, okay. for example, your uh, uh, studio is $2,500, that's mm -hmm. the rent 
you have to make a hundred thousand just as example. Okay. And of course, you have to have a good credit. If you don't, I'm sorry, have Elliot, a, that's gross gross income, right? Or yes, after tax? About, no, no, just a gross income. And gotcha. of course, if you have a guarantor, you, your guarantor has to make eighty times that. So oh, interesting. You get, yes, two hundred thousand for guarantors mm -hmm. for forty five hundred dollars apartment. And there is uh, some other options, but uh, we find those options in some buildings acceptable for landlords. Uh, we find uh, ways for people. Uh, I just had a Canadian uh, client who started working for for a company, and we found a way for him to qualify mm -hmm. with the Canadian credit, so okay. he was accepted. Mm -hmm. So. It's always uh, something that you have to, and we know the business, we're doing rentals for 25 years. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Ellie, that's, that's very important because, first of all, you don't want to waste your time. You don't want to waste the broker's time or the landlord's time. You have to come in prepared. So, I think it's very wise if you're looking to rent in Manhattan to meet with Elliot or his team ahead of time, show your documents show your income so that uh, Elliot can determine what kind of apartment you can afford and what kind of apartment you can actually get approved for. Because you may think you, you can afford it, but the uh, apartment management is going to think uh, otherwise. You don't want to waste time, right? Um, okay. Elliot, what about uh, asset requirements? So asset any? requirements, uh, basically for rentals, uh, they want to see your prior uh, history of renters, uh, you didn't have any um, judgments and things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Your credit is good. Your assets are not important in rentals. Okay, very good. So your assets are only important when you qualify for the mortgages. But for renters, it's your credit and it's your income or your guarantor's income. Okay, very and good. Of course, finding a right apartment for yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, Elliot, anyway, thank you for such a uh, uh, an answer that gives us a whole picture of uh, how you can uh, get qualified and uh, how you to find the right apartment for yourself for rentals. And at our next sessions, I want to talk about co-ops because co-ops, they're even much more strict because there you have income and asset requirements and a slew of other requirements. So I think we should do a whole session on that. Uh, for now, we want to thank you for giving us uh, an overview of a rental market in Manhattan. And you bet we're going to call you back in more and more for other interesting and frequently asked questions on buying, selling, or renting real estate in Manhattan because you are the person to go to. You actually know this market. You live in Manhattan. You breathe Manhattan. You know all the neighborhoods, all the buildings. So you are our expert on this topic. Elliot, again, thank you for your time. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And until next time, as always. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, dear listeners and viewers. Happy to Appreciate be with it. you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.